Hello everyone, it's Holly, and I'm back with another video. Um, today we are going to be testing a new concealer. Um, so I only have my eye makeup and my foundation, primer and foundation on, and we're going to test this out together. Uh, several, maybe a month ago, month and a half ago, there was a lot of controversy with a new release of the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. And it was that it wasn't inclusive for all people in their um, skin tone. So that it was very exclusive to people of color. There were multiple different fair and light shades and then like only three shades and they didn't even go that dark for people with darker skin tones. And so it was kind of a huge controversy. And around that time, a lot of um, beauty YouTubers started testing out another concealer to see out how it held up to the Tarte because a lot of people wanted to stop using Tarte until they fixed this problem. So um, I'm going to review this concealer that many of them claim to be just as good as the Tarte Shape Tape. You all know if you've watched any of my videos that I love the Tarte Shape Tape. No other concealer has ever held up to it in comparison as far as uh, coverage and lasting power. And so I was very interested to try this. I got this um, concealer in the mail a few weeks ago, but I was having the phone problems keeping me from being able to record videos. So I literally just took the packaging off of it. And this is the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the writing on it but um it comes in this little tube and here is the tarte shape tape tube um you can see that there's a little bit difference in the side size sorry about that um i'm gonna try to see if i can see the this is 0.11 fluid ounces the makeup revolution one and the tarte one is 0.338 so it is significantly smaller now here is the kicker with this this is seven dollars this is like 23 24 dollars so if this works as well we're going to be in business and i will be super happy to find something that works as well so um what i'm going to do first well actually before we do any of that, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please um, click on the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And um, if you are new and a new subscriber, welcome. I'm glad you subscribed and I'm glad you're watching um, these videos because it's a lot of fun for me to make them. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do with the two of these is I'm going to swatch them on my hand. I picked this online. I think that this is has a little bit less of a yellow tone than my Shape Tape does. Um, this is C4 is the shade, and in the Shape Tape I have light neutral. And so I see that they are gonna be different colors. This is the kind of applicator. It has the large doe foot, just like the Shape Tape does. And I'm just gonna do a little swatch. This is gonna also help us to see, as I'm applying it, how it oxidizes. So if it dries down darker than what it swatches initially. Oh yeah, the Shape Tape definitely has a much more yellow undertone. So this one here is the Shape Tape, and then this one is the Makeup Revolution one. Um, I'm going to do one side with the Shape Tape, one side with the Makeup Revolution, then I'm gonna set it with the powder and do my bronzing and blush and highlight and then see how it looks after the fact. And then I will report back tomorrow or the next day after wearing it a little bit, um, how I feel it holds up over time uh, compared to the Shape Tape. So I'm going to put a little bit on this side, we're gonna do the Shape Tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it first. I'm making a mess here. So we're gonna just put it on under the eye just as I usually would on this side. And I usually do right on the crease of my nose on the side. I'm just gonna do it like that on the side of my nose and on the left side of my cupid's bow and then the chin. And then I usually take it up 
let me move my hair into the forehead for a highlight on it. Okay, so we've got the shape tape done on that side. And now I'm going to do the Makeup Revolution on this side and we'll see how it goes. Okay, just at first kind of impression, it doesn't feel quite as thick as the Shape Tape does. It goes on a little more watery, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel like the Shape Tape can be a little too thick, so. But as far as like going a long way, I've not had to dip back in for more products, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so I've got one on each side now. I'm going to use one side of the beauty sponge to blend one side and then the other side of the beauty sponge to blend the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and start blending the shape tape. I love this stuff. I mean, it just blends out so nicely and it really is full, full coverage. And I love that too, because I feel like light coverage kind of defeats the purpose of a concealer. So I really like that. Usually blend right over top of my eyebrow. and try to get it up kind of close to the lip line. Okay, so we have all the shape tape fairly blended out now. And I'm going to flip the sponge to the other side and go ahead and do the Makeup Revolution side. So far, it's blending out actually pretty nicely. No real complaints on the way that it blends. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty clear that they are two different colors but you might not be able to notice it as much once I set it with the setting powder. Um, this side of the face definitely looks a little more yellow toned than this one. But as far as the coverage goes, I'm really not seeing a huge difference. I feel like the Shape Tape is defining my pores a little more than the Makeup Revolution. I did use a different primer today. I'm testing um, a, it, it's like a, um, what is it called? Let's see. A mineral effect cream that came in this new skincare line that I'm trying out. And it says on the instructions that it actually works well as a base for your foundation. So I take that as like a primer. So I am trying that out. Um, as of right now, I'm not impressed with the pore filling uh, qualities in it, but that does not mean that it's not going to help my makeup stay on over time and keep it from like breaking apart and things. So I'm going to use this side of the sponge again to set the concealer on the Shape Tape side. So again, you kind of just want to put, and I know I've talked about this in other videos, but it bears repeating for those who have not heard it yet. You just kind of want to set the places that you put the concealer or any place that you tend to get extra oily. All right, I'm going to flip the side. I'm almost out of this Maybelline Fit Me setting powder, which I'm still 
loving, which says a lot. I have, a, it's kind of like I get into this, I don't want to call it a rut, but it's where I'm, you, I enjoy the product that I'm currently using. And so I find a, I find it really hard to try new things. And I really liked the Cody Airspun powder so much that I didn't really give this Fit Me powder a real shot. And I'm glad that I did for the sake of these videos because um, it is a wonderful powder. It really does a great, great job. But I'm almost out of it. Like I'm really kind of running on empty here. So I have to tap it out so hard to get any out. And so I'm definitely going to go and get more of it because I'm enjoying it so very much. And that's the same thing with the shape tape. I tend to not try a lot of new concealers because I love the shape tape so much that it's hard for me to, you know, really do anything different. So I've got the powder, the setting powder on. Um, I'm going to leave it to set for just a couple more seconds. So while I'm doing that, I want to talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing. It's a little dark for my personal taste, but it is the Makeup Forever one. Where's the tube? Here it is. It's the Makeup Forever one that I got in my February Play by Sephora box. And it's a matte formula. It's a little dark for my personal preference. However, um, I'm just not a fan of lipsticks. I like a liquid lip a lot better because I feel like you don't get as much transfer. Like, I just feel like this is messy and I'm going to be worried all day long wearing it that... Um, it's like all over my face or outside of, you know, my lip line. And so that's why I tend to kind of stay away from lipsticks and go more to um, a lip liquid lip. But one thing I will say, I talked about these in my all about liquid lipsticks video. It was like, I think the first video maybe that I ever did. And um, it's the Sleek Makeup uh, Major Matte Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. I use this. And I got these as part of a gift set. I think I paid $3 for four of them. And um, this was awesome. I used this and I didn't feel like I had anything on my lips. There was none of the cracking and the crumbling. It stayed on. I ate with it on and drank with it on. And it stayed put. And I was so impressed with that. Because even like some of the better quality liquid lipsticks that I use will crack on the inside or go away on the inside of my lips as I eat and drink. And this did not. So I really like this. And I didn't use them for so long and didn't really give them a fair shot other than just trying them on or swatching them because I like my Wet n' Wild Liquid Catsuit ones so much that it was hard to kind of, again, get out of that rut and try something new. But I really, really, really loved it. I was wearing it in my video that I shot yesterday, the um, February Play by Sephora box video, and it was really nice. So I think I'm going to use all of those a little more frequently. Okay, now I'm just going to take like a little fluffy brush and brush away this powder and see what we have going on after we do that. I try to usually pull the powder down into the areas where I didn't bake. So that way um, I get a little bit of coverage on those areas. But then it keeps, if you bake the whole face, then it's going to look super cakey. And we don't want that. I'm going to just pull it down into the neck a little bit. And I know it's looking kind of light and ghostly right now. But we're going to put some bronzer and blush and highlight on. And that will help a lot. So we've got that all blended in. Now I'm going to go in with my um, Hoola by Benefit bronzer. It's got some eyelash glue on the top because I sit my eyelashes there to let the glue dry a little bit before I put them on. But um, I still am loving this bronzer. It's going to be hard for me to go away from this. But um, again, I explained this before in a video, but when I do my bronzer, I do it kind of like a contour. And I just kind of suck my cheeks in. And I'm going to do it from right there to the ear. And you don't want to drag the line down too much or it pulls your whole face down, making you look older. So I put a little bit there. I do the same thing on the other side, right in about the same place. Then I do a little on the sides of my nose to make it look a little slimmer. 
and some across the tip of the nose to make it look a little shorter. Then I do kind of the temples area. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. It's hard to see it in the phone screen. Um, and kind of pull it down to here. And then I'm gonna do right along the jawline. This just gives some definition to the jawline and then I pull it down a little bit into the neck. Do the same thing on this side. Um, when contouring or bronzing, the rule of thumb is kind of to go in a three. So the forehead to the cheek, to the jawline. Now I need to just buff this out a little bit so it's not as harsh of a line. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just put a little color back into that face where we put the powder on. Okay, good. And now I'm going to do the blush. I've used a couple different blushes. I got that Tarte blush that I did the video on in that little Tarte sampler pack that I got, and I really do like it. Actually, I'll show you. It is almost, I've hit pan on it. Actually, I'll go ahead and use that. Um, and I really like it. It works well. It's long lasting. It does have a little tiny bit of a shimmer in it, which is not my preference for blushes, but at the same time, it's not bad either. So, and just do it right above that contour bronzer line. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little bit of highlight and this is a highlight I've been using. It is a new one to me. And I'm actually liking it. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is a nice color. I've been using this one a lot. This one is in the shade Precious Petals. And um, I enjoy it. It has a tiny bit of a pinky glow, tiny bit of a tiny bit of a gold glow. So it's kind of like a rose gold. And I just put it right on top of that blush line. And I do the same on the other side. Just gives you a little dewiness, a little bit of a glow, but it's controlled because you can put it in the places that you want. I do a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then a little bit on the top of the bridge of my nose. I don't go low because I don't want to emphasize the point on my nose because my nose is kind of long anyway. And then I like to put just a little bit right above my eyebrows in the dead center to give it a kind of nice little glow up there too. But I am liking this highlighter. I feel like it stays on for a good while. It shows up. It might not be showing up as much on camera with the lighting, but it is really nice. So I'm going to touch this lipstick up a little bit because... Um, I got a little powder in it and then I'm going to look at the face and see what I think once I, now that I've got my setting powder on, yeah, see this is like bunching in the corners. This, I'm probably going to take this off after this video because it is going to paranoid me or I'm going to be paranoid it all day long if I wear this out of the house. Okay, so now I'm going to take a look in the mirror at um, the concealers. I don't know that you can even really see a difference on camera in the color. I know that they are, again, here's what it's dried down to. This top one is the Tarte Shape Tape, a little more yellow based. And then this bottom one is the Makeup Revolution one. Um, but I'm going to look in the... Honestly, I feel like the Makeup Revolution one looks a little better because it doesn't settle into my pores. There is a place right here that you all probably cannot see 
that it is really emphasizing the pores and I don't have that same thing going on at all on this side. So um, that's a positive. We're gonna see how it wears throughout the evening. I'm gonna go get my nails done. I've got a crack on this one. Um, and when I get home, I will look at it before I take my makeup off and see what I think about it. But um, as of now, I think I like it just as well, for sure, as the Shape Tape. But if, am I going to like it better? That's going to be the question. For $7, I think I ordered it online, so I had to pay $5 shipping. So still, even with the shipping, this was like half the price. So um, if this works just as well, then I'm going to keep on using it and that will be awesome. And I've shared before that I've been having um, some struggles with finding the Shape Tape in store in my color because they sell out so quickly. It's such an in-demand product. So there's a chance that um, it might be better for me to go ahead and switch to this and then I can just pick it up in the store instead of having to pay for shipping. So, um, just something to think about, but I will get back to you all and let you know what I think about this. Again, so far, I think it looks okay. You all probably cannot see much of a difference at all, and I can just see that it did not settle into the pores as badly. So, keep your eyes peeled for an update video on this, and I'll let you know what I think after some wear, and um, I'm going to try out the other uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter that I got in a different color because so far I've really been, you all know that the Master Chrome Face Studio by Maybelline has been my favorite drugstore highlighter, but I am enjoying this Wet n Wild one so far. So I wanna try the other color, see what I think. Maybe it will show up a little more. It won't be as muted, um, but we'll just wait and see. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. I, I told you all yesterday, I'm trying a whole lot of new products. Oh, let me set this look with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Got it in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm trying a lot of new things. So there are a lot of more, a lot more videos to come. So just uh, keep tuned and keep your eyes peeled for those to come up and we will definitely discuss some new things thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and god bless see you next time